Good evening, guys. Let's see. Mic check, sound check. Looks like it looks good. William, refresh the page if you can't see the video. It should be okay. Yeah, the hat is a... It's a, uh, it's a piece of history from 2010. This is probably HTC's last really good phone, the HTC Evo 3D. Yep. And, um, anyway, they obviously, excuse me, ooh, they obviously don't make the phone anymore. <clears throat> but, anyway, hello, William. I am Austin7478, TJ Wolf, how's everybody doing? Got my iPad with me, iPad mini. It's got a nice scroll news thing, I if you can see that at the bottom there. It's kind of hard with the lighting, but that's a, a scroll text for news. And of course the time. Fidel is in the house. Hello, Fidel. How are you? Sorry, long time no see. It's kind of like I fell off the face of the air. I know the shame on me and I was talking about Spatry. I don't know how, how Spatry is doing, to be quite honest. I don't know. Don't know. I hope he's okay. Yeah. Anybody else have an iPad? This is the iPad 2 Mini. It still works pretty good. I don't use it that often. Check the news, play music, stuff like that. So tonight we'll um, we'll do a comments corner comment on some of your random comments. How's the background music? Not too loud? I hope. If it's too loud, let me know. I'll turn it down. It's from the YouTube audio library, of course. OpenShaw 2.4.1. Too bad it never works. It never works for me anyway. Yeah. This hat... The HTC hat is actually too small for my barely fits, but you know, I wear hats when it gets really cold here in the wintertime. It is 18 degrees here in the Pittsburgh area. But anyway, piece of history, the HTC Evo 3D. We'll wait a few minutes. Um, then we'll get started on some of your comments. What good distro you think to be coming up for 2018? Um, William, you can't see the video. Is anybody else having issues with the video? Because it looks like it's okay on my end. As far as a good distro for 2018, I'm curious to see what the next Ubuntu holds with their GNOME desktop, if it's any better. Um, I'm looking forward to the next Ubuntu Mate. I think Solus will get better. I don't think there'll be any um, surprises for 2018, like we had a surprise with Ubuntu dumping Unity, but I don't think we'll have any surprises. So you guys can see me, yeah, William, try refreshing your page or try a different browser. I don't know. Um, yeah, but as far as a good distro, Coming up for 2018, nothing really out of the ordinary. I would say Solus will continue, Ubuntu Mate, Ubuntu, of course, Linux Mint, the usual. 
But that's as far as that goes. I don't see anything new coming up that I haven't heard of that I can say, whoa, take a look at that. I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so, so. William, can you see me now? Did you refresh your pa page and try a different browser? Fat Elvis is in the house. Welcome. You can see me now. Okay. Very good. For a second there, I thought I may have been hacked. Check my messages here on my iPad. I actually bought this as a refurb from the Apple uh, store, the iPad mini, uh, the two. It was like 150 bucks off and I thought, sure, why not? I mean, it's, 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 it's reliable. I don't use it that much because I can't hook this up to my Linux. Tried, will not work, but kind of expected that, you know. Um, but it's been reliable. We have Gurs. Hello, Gurs. Where are you from? Gurs, I can't pronounce your first name. I'm sorry. An Pen? Aha Pen? I don't know. Gurs, I think this is your first time on a live broadcast. Welcome to the live show. Everybody say hello. Say hello to Gurs. Twist up from Walmart. How are you, Gurs? Star Wars franchise crosses four billion. That's right. That's what Disney paid Lucas. Four billion for the franchise. Wow. Well, I guess it was worth it. Hmm. Belarus, very good. What is the time there in Belarus? Cool. Three hundred thousand users exposed in another data leak. Surprise! Wow, the year is not over, and here we are still talking about hacks and leaks. Wow. Gurs, you did not sleep the whole night. What happened, man? Linux bug? Microsoft virus? Six ten, okay. So you are uh, eight hours ahead. Here it is, 12.10 p.m. in the States. Nice. Thanks for stopping by, Gurus. Please stick around. Um, what Linux do you use? Or do you use Linux? Do you dual boot? Are you happy using Linux? I use um, Ubuntu Mate, the latest one, 17.10. Okay, we'll give it another few minutes, and then we'll go into some of your comments. I'm looking at the ticker newsfeed on the top. See what's new. Electric car sales. I guess they're selling more since the prices have come down a little bit. I think the Chevrolet Bolt. Yeah, I think it's called the Bolt. Gets like over 200 miles on a charge. That's pretty good, I guess. Apple store designers appear to have forgotten about Chicago winters. Yeah, we did a story like that last night. I'm doing fine, Gors. Um, it's cold here. 
It is 18 degrees Fahrenheit. It's snowing. We're supposed to get up to four inches of snow. And uh, I used to live in Florida 10 years. I like the warm weather. And in Florida, there are no potholes. How are the roads in Belarus? Do you have potholes or is everything flat? And how's the weather there? Drone collides with US Army helicopter puts one and a half inch dent in rotor. Now I told my neighbor, stop messing with those drones, but he won't listen to me. Just kidding. SC finally gets on the board. All right, we'll start with the comments here in two minutes at 10.15. See if anybody else wants to join in. Somebody left a nice long comment. I'll do that one last about Linux versus Windows. I thought was pretty good. Spotify, yes, Spotify is available as a snap. I tested it, it works pretty good. I think the next live event I'll do uh, some of my predictions for 2018. A lot of leftover snow in Belarus, okay. Yep, Ubuntu is still more popular than Britney Spears. All right, one more minute. So if anybody else is watching, uh, if it's your first time, no need to be shy, just say hello. This is a friendly channel. Uh, whether you use Linux, or you tried it or think it sucks, you're welcome to come on and share your thoughts. Everybody here is friendly. And if they're not friendly, I'll throw them off the chat. That's never happened, I don't think it will. Everyone here is pretty cool, so if this is your first time, don't be shy. That's what this community is here for. And I want to thank all of you for joining, uh, as usual. If you can't support the channel, there are some links below in the show notes, through Amazon and through PayPal, uh, to help keep this thing going. It would be appreciated. All right, so let's get... Uh, I picked about 10 of your comments, usually Linux stuff, and we'll talk about that, and I'll try to keep... Uh, note of the chat here as I read these comments, okay? Yes, Lamer Linux, that is true. We won't bite. Sometimes we might get we might get silly, but no biting. All right. Comments corner. Here we go. All right. This is from Commodore fan 64. Any suggestions for a distro that will work with either AMD R7 for 240 and or AMD R7 250, GPU running 18.3 Linux Mint 64-bit, getting screen tears, and the open source drivers suck? All right, I won't read all of this, but apparently this person uh, tried some drivers, didn't work, tried the AMD website, uh, no support there, and still having problems. Well, I can tell you that open source drivers, drivers, video drivers in general in Linux can still be a hit and miss, a major pain. First, what I do is I first check the manufacturer's website. Hello, Rose. I check the manufacturer's website. Then I check the forums. Then I try to pick, it might be a previous release version that may work with your specific uh, video graphics. And I usually stick with, uh, try to stick, it, not, it may not make a difference, but Commodore Fan 64, you may wanna try an LTS release, a different one to see if it makes any difference. But just keep in mind that when it comes to video drivers with Linux, it is a hit and miss and it doesn't always work. So if you guys have any suggestions for Commodore or Fan64 for a specific uh, graphics, uh, let them know or let me know. Pizza loving nerd. You need to hide a dead pizza. Oh no. Did you leave it out and it got moldy? 
Okay. Comment number two from Tam1954 EFI. iFi. Time will fly. Switch to Linux is in a house. Yes, we are going to share a comment from Switch to Linux that made me laugh. Greetings, greetings, Switch. Uh, Isaiah Briggs. Isaiah Briggs, Isaiah Briggs. This might be your first time on the live chat if it is. Hello, and everybody say hello to Isaiah. Anarita. I actually did not have toast today. Haha. -ha. Yeah, sometimes I do. Sometimes I have a bagel. Waffle. All right, moving on. Uh, comment number two. Happy New Year. Thanks for doing the review. I use this on another hard disk. Lots of my friends love the Android feel. This is talking about Endless OS. It does look terrific. It does have an Android look and feel to it. And sure, if it works, why not keep it? It's not for me, but that's one of the nice things about Linux. If you know what you're doing, there should be a choice that will fit you. It is your first time here, Isaiah. Everybody, please say hello to Isaiah Briggs. Welcome to the live chat. Okay, uh, let's see. The best Linux teacher right now by your... Well, I like Ubuntu Mate, Gers. Yeah. Ubuntu Mate, Linux Mint, um, Zorin Lite, Linux Lite, especially for beginners. Yes. Yes, welcome Isaiah. Okay, comment number three. This is from Fernando Rustaber. I love that name, Fernando Rustaber. What was the name of that Madonna song? Can you hear the drums, Fernando? Thank you, he says. The first time I see Shotcut from Linux in a tutorial. Regards from Mexico. You are quite welcome, Fernando. Yes, I've done a few uh, tutorials for Shotcut. A great alternative to Kdenlive. Live. No, I am not wearing my Steve Jobs uh, pants. Uh, not yet. Yeah, last night, for those of you who missed it, you missed, uh, there is a going to be the uh, Steve Jobs jeans from two Italian guys in Naples because they are geniuses. Siphonix is in the house. What's up? Welcome, Siphonix. Kagan the Tennessean. You must be from Tennessee. Welcome, Kagan the Tennessean. If you were, if this is your first time, welcome, Kagan. Everybody, please say hello to Kagan the Tennessean. Is it snowing down there, Kagan? It is freezing here, 18 degrees. Yeah, $1,000 for the jeans. Mm hmm. Hey, look, those two Italian guys, they're smart, right? The name Steve Jobs was not trademarked. They figure, why not? So why not have... Look, if your phone is your pants, your jeans, and you always put your pants on, you'll never forget your phone, will you? Brilliant! Welcome, Ben. Okay, let's move on. Where were we? We Number three was, yeah, Fernando. Okay, thanks, Fernando. Hey, Cherie is in the house, was in the house, at least with the comment. What an awesome live, Toss. I really like hanging out with you while we search internet tubes for technology and Linux news. All those care problems and lawsuits is crazy, huh? Yeah. I watched the latest Ubuntu podcast. The orange chair thing is because one of those got a new fancy chair with a wide bass to fit his... Oh, I get it. I guess one of the hosts... For the Ubuntu podcast has a big booty. According to this, a wide load physique. And yes, it is very cold. Okay, I get it. I, I get it. All right, okay. 31 degrees. Okay. Isaiah, minus seven in Montana. Oh, man. Jeez. Yeah, it's 18 degrees here in the Pittsburgh area. I guess. You know what? Once it drops below freezing, can you really tell how cold it is? It's just freaking cold, right? At least that's how I see it. Crank up the music a little bit so I can hear it. All right. Uh, let's see here. Minus negative 30 Celsius in Canada. Oh, man. Whew. That is cold. All right. This is from D8. 
the 8400. This is about uh, Zorin. If you go back and use all of the Zorin versions and then compare them to what we have now, you'll notice how it was improved in regards to its professionalism and polish. The old light versions 4 to 11 uh, were complete jokes. They are more or less a reskin Lubuntu with a few extra apps tacked on, whereas the current light edition is incredible. I do like the current uh, light edition. I was on my top 10, I think, or top 5, I can't remember. But yeah, Anorita uh, application on the top is called Ticker. T-I-C-K-R. Check it out. 33 degrees and clear. Uh, Look, anything above freezing is a heat wave, man. Yeah. Most of our snow happens in the mountains, which are in the same county, so it's close enough to enjoy. But if that happens, it spawns Armageddon. Um... Nice. Okay. Let's see, where were we here? Uh, talking about Zorin Light. Yeah, the, 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 the latest Zorin Light is pretty good. Uh, let me see here. The start menu is unique, and as far as I know, it was built from scratch and wasn't forked. Uh, the old core editions were decent enough in terms of the UI performance. Uh, let's see here. It talks about the previous ones, one through six, unprofessional look, childish looking. Uh, version seven onwards introduced what we know as a sci-fi look. And it talks about the Avant window manager. So yes, yeah, the, the the latest Zorin. Yes, Rita, Arita, and Arita. That's how you spell it. Yes. The latest Zorin light. It's one of my top recommendations for a Linux distribution of the year for beginners. When it's so cold, you breathe through your nose and boogers freeze. Whoa, I guess so. Bills, Bildall is in the house. Ah, welcome, Bills. But they say we're Eskimos. That that was cold for Eskimos. All right, let's. All the bread and milk in town gets sold out. Kagan, the Tennessee. Why does that happen? To, is it, is there like panic buying? I know when storms hit or they're coming, there's some panic buying. Like in Florida, like if a hurricane comes, stuff like that. Um, yeah, okay. Comment number six from Willem. I think Willem is from a frequent uh, commentator, comment person from Denmark, I think. Anyway, he says, I still love Manjaro Cinnamon. It is very, very fast, very user-friendly. Uh, that from a former Windows user, Manjaro is up to date. I have not had a problem okay uh forget all the desktops the best a windows user can do is cinnamon i like linux mint cinnamon uh use windows so switch to the great world of linux my friends whatever distro you choose this is my personal opinion well then thank you if you watch this later yes uh absolutely use what works Uh, this is from Helen McAnally Aitken Atkin. This was about the um, Ubuntu breaking some Lenovo desktops. She says, Brilliant! I ruined my favorite dress last, last week. I had to reply, Didn't know your laptop wears a dress. Um, yeah, I don't know if the updated Ubuntu is up to help prevent uh that bug breaking something in the bios of the uh lenovo machines but i guess it happened to quite a few people people think they're going to be snowed in but as soon as the sun rises the next morning it all melts yeah okay when i lived in florida in the orlando area it would it, it would get very cold in january we would have some snow flurries now of course it wouldn't stick but uh, if you're not used to it, I guess that can be a problem. People may panic. Completely understandable. Yeah, beer on the trunk, nice and cold. No cost to refrigerate. Yes, Bills, that is true. Let's move on to the next one. This is from Bruce Gibb. I used Ubuntu for several years and was gutted 
when they dropped Unity. I am going to miss it also, the official Unity anyway. I, I really liked it. I tried Ubuntu GNOME, but it has a twitchy feel, even with the 1710 and the purpose made GNOME. UI it is prone to crashing occasionally. I tried to add Plasma to Ubuntu 16.04 and it ruined the installation, so I formatted the partition and loaded KDE Neon. Neon is beautiful. I agree. Neon is beautiful. Not just to look at, it is really smooth. Man, virtually everything works well, with two exceptions, Discovery. Yeah, I don't care for that software manager. Uh, which hangs persistently when installing new software. LibreOffice, claim maybe if you need or any other software, use the command line interface. Oh, okay. Uh, ask Ubuntu, you get newer versions. They install just like they would in Ubuntu. I choose the cascading menu. Uh, browsers in Neon Firefox was lagging. Okay, well, I don't use KDE, but I believe KDE is a little bit more friendly to use than the GNOME desktop. Yes. You lived in northern Indiana for two winters, so you learned how to navigate snowy roads. I know exactly how to navigate through snowy roads. I try to avoid driving in them. That's right. This is from our good friend Switch to Linux. So this was from the um, uh, the Pentagon release declassified a, a secret program, the Advanced Research Something uh, Unidentified Object Something, that pretty much proves that UFOs, as in extraterrestrial aircraft, exist. They didn't go out and say that, but it pretty much proves it, in my opinion. Switch to Linux says, no, we are not alone. I'm still trying to get approval to stream for Mars. Jeremy Cheatham says, I'm rooting for you. Hoping, not hopping, hoping that goes through would be awesome. I had to apply. Switch, you realize that there, there's nothing preventing you to stream from Mars because there's nothing there. Ha ha. Yeah, it's called the, if you do a search, the latest Pentagon, the advanced research, it's, it's been around five years. Uh, they released a, a um, transcript of a radio communication between a uh, jet fighter and the, the ship. Ah, you'll have Mars approval tomorrow. Okay, I hope that's not too expensive. And the fighter pilot was chasing this thing. And he was asked by the command ship that he have warheads on board. Uh, the fighter pilot replied he was not expecting hostile entry into the US. He had dummy warheads, but he still pursued the aircraft. And according to the jet fighter pilots, he was freaked out. Uh, he says pretty weirded out. And when you have a trained uh, fighter pilot in charge of defending our country, he was freaked out. That's a problem, or a potential problem. That proves to me that what he saw was not of this earth. That's how I see it. Now, he did say he had no idea what it was, but he wants to fly one. There you go. Proof that aliens exist. The X-Files is real. <coughs> and by the way, the X-Files is coming back January 3rd. I can't wait. Scully and Mulder are back. Because the truth is still out there. So Cody Smith, what's up? Let's go into the last comment here. <clears throat> this one makes a lot of sense. It made me laugh a little bit. Yeah, yeah, it's 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 the M and M. Yeah, T Tom will do a a streamcast chewing on Mars M and M's. Mm. All right, this is from CST four ninety eight. So uh, let's see. Clifford is in the house. Uh, you grew up in North St. Louis County. Learned how to drive si sideways uphill. Okay, uh, that's a lot of tire tire burning, if I had to guess. Here in Ohio, when it snows, going uphill. 
Uh, as we used to say in New York, forget about it. It ain't gonna happen. Bills is a Linux newbie. You are Linux Smith 18.3 Mate. Very good. Uh, what are the best drivers? Boy, you know, I'm using the open source drivers in my machine, Bills. It seems okay. If the open source drivers work, uh, don't touch it. If you're not sure, go to the appropriate manufacturer website and see if there's something there. Uh, but for now, yeah, the open source drivers seem to work for me. Yeah, it's, if you're going sideways uphill, that's that means you're slipping and sliding. That's not there. Yeah, probably not the best way to drive, right? Okay, let's go into the last long comment. CST498 says, I love Linux. Works perfectly on my laptop, but I cannot get it to work properly on my computer. It's, it's kind of like saying Linux is the best thing on planet Earth, except it sucks. Uh, uh, the computer I built used to do PC gaming, not so much, so I figured I'd install Linux. Apparently, the Linux kernel bleeping hates gigabyte motherboards. First Gigabyte doesn't support Linux, so I have to rely on third-party drivers. It's the manufacturer's fault, not Linux. Second, I can't run Linux without issues. The wireless adapter wouldn't work, so I bought a new one that advertised support for Linux. Great, that works amazingly. The origins of... It happened... It's 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 it's, it's a New York thing. It's pronounced pho, like forget about it. It's pho, get about it. F-U-H, get about it. It's a New York thing where... If something doesn't work, or you think something's going to work, or you're trying to explain them something, trying to fix it, it's not going to happen. And we used to say, instead of saying, you know what, you're trying to fix that bug, whatever, forget about it. We say, forget about it. It's a New York slang, but that's what it is. You just got the ticket. It's amazing for Linux. Yes, it is. It is. You are welcome. And Arita, that'll cost you 10 bucks, please. No, I'm just kidding. Um, uh, yes, on ice, the rear wheel uh, drive tends to catch up with the front end. Yeah, I have front wheel drive. My son's car is uh, all-wheel drive, automatic all-wheel drive. Isaiah, I love the X-Files. Uh, Hollywood needs to stop the terrible reshoots and sequels. Uh, most of the movies are awful. They're not very creative. I'm tired of... Um, you know, Transformers, what's next? Godzilla versus Wonder Woman? No, thank you. Uh, that's why I don't go to the movies. I did see the latest Star Wars. And I liked it. I had a good time. It, it, it kept me... Uh, there were It was some surprises. Uh, it made me laugh. And it was okay. So I... Yeah. But yeah, most of the sequels and reboots and everything, they just... They just uh, I, I saw Alien Covenant because I like Ridley Scott's stuff, and that was somewhat disappointing. It looked great, but the story just wasn't there. It was weak. So, I agree, Isaiah. Alright, continuing. Second, I can't run Linux without issues. The wireless adapter won't work, so I bought a new one. Okay, so I read that one. Now I notice when my wireless card is downloading information, whether through the terminal, web browser, package manager, whatever, I hear static coming from my speakers. They are not turned up all the way. I never do that. I don't have that problem on Windows with the correct Realtek drivers, so I, I know it's a driver issue. Thankfully, with Windows, I'm guaranteed to find drivers that will work with both my system and my hardware. I don't need to worry about wireless USB adapters not working or constant crackling, static sound coming from my speakers. Everything works wonderfully. So while I love Linux more than Windows, more, much more at that, Windows is always more reliable. Oh, yes, assuming that you have no malware, I would tend to agree. Um, let's see here. I can buy any hardware and not have to think to myself, will this work on my computer? I know it will work, whether I have to install drivers. Okay. You will see Star Wars tomorrow. Let us know if you like it, Rose. Uh, again, third time saying this, I love Linux to death. I'm going to guess... That he likes Linux. I cannot stress that enough, but I hate the I hate the cancer fanboy passion behind it. Linux fanboys always really stretch the truth and say things that aren't true. Um, maybe. 
that results in most of their arguments being inaccurate or moot. Here's a list of moot and accurate arguments I hear from the fanboys all the time. Okay, here we go. Let's see here. Okay, here we go. Linux works. <laughs> yeah, everything works wonderfully, especially the telemetry. Fat Elvis, the whole web is full of telemetry, right? All right, let's see what this... Now, look, let's give this uh, uh, person credit for taking the time to write all this. So, you know, and I, and I thought it was, it was only proper to show some respect and then, you know, and show it and see what you guys think. Okay, Linux. Uh, Linux works right out of the box. Right, well, sort of Windows does most of the time too, but God forbid... I have to spend an extra 5-10 minutes downloading and installing drivers that will make my hardware work 100% like it's supposed to instead of 70% like it's supposed to with third party drivers but also wrong. I've encountered more often than not that Linux does not work 100% correctly right out of the box that I've installed Linux on dozens of machines. I always had issues with one or more of the hardware in my machine whether that be sound, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, anything. I always have to spend hours doing research. I will say this with Linux, you will <coughs> it's possible to come across issues with video drivers and printer drivers maybe wireless yeah okay number two windows is so complicated you have to install all those drivers there is absolutely nothing difficult about going to the manuf manufacturer's website clicking on support and then clicking on download drivers and choosing the correct product give me a break most even come with drivers on a disk that you can use but i always get the most up-to-date version from their website anyway installing drivers is easy unless you're unless you're five with a quarter of a brain anyone can go to the manufacturer's website and download appropriate drivers okay well i would have to agree uh number three you can take linux with you everywhere you go in a flash drive first why would anyone need to do that maybe i just don't have a clue why anyone would want to do that I'm sure there might be a legitimate issue for why someone wants to do that, but I, nor millions of others around the world, will never have an issue where I said, oh shoot, I really could use that live bootable USB Linux drive right now. <laughs> That's making me laugh. Um, <laughs> oh shoot, I really could use that live bootable. Yeah, most Windows users are probably not saying, dang, where's that live Linux drive? I need to have that. Uh, second, I heard that you can do that with Windows now too. Whether that's true or not, I'm not sure. I never did it myself because like my first point, what is the point? Okay. Number four, Linux has great hardware support. Bah, that's just a flat out lie. Well, some great hardware support. I don't think I need to spend time on this one. Um, Programming is better on Linux. True, I've done my fair share of programming, but you can do this on Windows too. And while everything is nice and integrated within the OS itself, you can always download powerful... Okay, all right, okay. This is one of those arguments that are indeed accurate. But moots. Please don't make a Hannah Montana. Uh, anyway, number six. Uh, Linux just works. No, no, it does not just work. <laughs> I just spend a great deal of time explaining why it doesn't just work. If anything just works, it's Windows. So yeah, I absolutely love Linux to death, but I'm tired of hardcore fanboys ruining Linux by giving new users bad impression. I never did that, by the way. I call it as I see it. And after seven years, I'm still here. Uh, let's see here. New bad impression spreading stretch truth and misinformation. They think it's easy. It works right out of the box. Yada yada. They install it and they run into all these problems and spend hours of research. And usually, don't even fix the problems. Again, all of which could have been avoided if you just installed a driver in Windows, which would have taken five minutes. That is it. I don't know what you guys think about these comments, but I think it made a lot of sense. So thanks to all of you who left those comments. I hope you're not shy. And I'm back. Montana and Tan already were the greatest and greatest colonel. 
By the way, for those of you who showed up late, a bit of history. You guys remember this phone? The HTC Evo 3D? I got two of these hats up for bids. Bidding starts at $100. That was probably HTC's last truly cool phone about seven years ago. Anyway. Dude, you got a Dell. It runs Linux awesome testically. I like that word, awesome testically. Except you couldn't get Arch or Manjaro. It was probably designed to run specific Linux distros. If I had to guess, I don't know. The Devil Wears Prada? Prada? Is that what it's called? Gecko the Lizard. You still play with your HTC. You have that? You have that phone? The HTC Evo 4G? Wow, how old is that phone? By the way, the 3D part was a gimmick. It didn't really work that well. Can you start with that because I donated a dollar for the bidding? Uh, I guess. <laughs> oh, man. I got two. I, I really do have two of these. I have a... Uh, you guys remember the GPS, the company called Mio? I don't know if it's still around, but I have one of those. But yeah, this, um, like I said, when it gets cold, I wear the hat. It's a little tight on my head. Look, Italians have a big head, you know, but it's got adjustable strap here, Velcro. Anyway, the Evo. Some guys wear their hats backwards. I look like a catcher. Okay, throw me the fastball. Anyway, yeah, there's a Han Solo Star Wars movie coming out that they created using Linux. Actually, I have no clue. Maybe they do use Linux for the special effects for Star Wars. I don't know. Got a burp. Hang on. You'll give me nine ninety nine for it, no more or less. You're missing a few zeros. <laughs> I know, Fat Animal says, forget about it. Fine. Don't support Total West today. <laughs> you know, we're laughing, but one day this hat may be worth something. And then I can go, yeah, forget about it. I told you so. Hello, Shatir. How are you? Just checking my messages on my iPad. Yeah, I had, I had no other topics planned for the night, but I'll, I'll stay on as long as you guys want to chat. It's fine with me. Forget about it. That's close enough. It's forget about it. F-U-H. Forget about it. Senators randomly started quoting meatloaf at each other during a banking committee hearing. Boy, Congress is in bad shape. You know, meatloaf the singer? Really? Wow. Okay. You know, he had those hits, two out of three ain't bad. You don't want to support Total OS, that's Total BS. Thank you, Kagan. I agree. I agree. Yeah. YouTube's new algorithm. Demonetizing a lot of stuff is a bunch of BS. Oh, well. You'll pay me in Lego? Okay, that's all you got. Hello, Shatir. How are you? You are good. You are fine. Cool. Very good. I 
The one thing about the iPad mini, all the apps seem to work the first time. It's not like I download an app and it doesn't work. Steve, you are in West Virginia, near Steubenville. Oh, cool. Which part of West Virginia? Yeah, we're getting, we have snow. It's snowing. Um, I checked before I jumped on live. We are going to get, uh, what's the weather forecast? A couple inches. Uh, one to two inches tonight. One to two inches tomorrow. So, it is winter, right? Steve, have you been to the, um, you've been to the, uh, what's it called? Downtown, the, um, Christmas, the Nutcracker Village. I isn't that awesome? It's pretty cool. My friend Jerry got sworn in yesterday as mayor. Good for him. Yeah, sometimes I'll stop. And, oh, oh, you're in Wellsburg, okay down the river two to four by tomorrow okay yeah that sounds about right um, I was actually checking my son's car today he was low on oil and stuff but um, yeah you know it's that time of year so how about Bitcoin no thank you no Bitcoin nope no Bitcoin no web coin no coin bank just plain and simple PayPal. Whatever country you live in, whatever. <laughs> yeah, no, no Bitcoin. Yeah, it is pretty cool that um, Nutcracker Village. Um, don't forget to check up on your Steve Jobs jeans can't believe these two Italian guys were smart enough to trademark Steve Jobs because nobody else did. They beat out Apple. Yeah, I think I would also bet, would rather buy something not as um, questionable. Buy silver or gold. Litecoin is good. I don't want any kind of coin word in it. Just... Yeah, just whatever country you're from, just use your credit card. Whatever. So check out Steve Jobs' jeans. Your, your, your jeans are ringing. Monopoly money, will that work for you? No, your guys are getting colder. You're not getting warmer. There's enough cold today in Ohio. Pizza, send me that link in an email so I'll remember. Okay? It's about your bedtime, Lemur Linux. Okay, have a good night. You wrote a virus for Linux. That's interesting. Is it effective? Um, I was going to check. Oh, the Nutcracker Village. Nutcracker. Oh yeah, several weeks ago somebody stole one of the nutcrackers. Yeah, happy is Wi-Fi. Yeah, there was there was a lot of jokes last night for that uh, um, Steve Jobs jeans. There's some shots of the Nutcracker Village. from downtown. I think it looks pretty nice. Oh, you got to be better after. Okay, stick around. picture of the bridge near the bridge there I like that I like that one
Yeah, they did catch the... Uh, i tell you what's funny about that one. Across the street from that show from the village is the police station. The city building. They wouldn't have surveillance cameras, would they? Nah, why would they? Um, what say you? Shall we send you to the frozen waste of Northrend on Azeroth? You can send me to the Ice Planet Hoth from Star Wars. Because I love those walking tanks. Right for wind blows instead. Hey, 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 I like my windows. Sneaky Linux. Yeah. And that is the Nutcracker Village. Pretty nice. I think it's through, what, next week or something? Or the end of the month? I can't remember. Sneaky Linux is in the house. Hello, Sneaky. Sneaky, what games are you playing now? Leader of the uh, Lick King, Ling of the Undead Scourge. Okay. There's a good shot of the Nutcracker Village here downtown. It's pretty nice. I like it. I was there last month. Saturday night. It was cold. It was really, really cold. There was a lot of people there. But they had those portable uh, heaters that, like a tower, you could put your hands up there and warm up. Uh,. Anyway, the Nutcracker Village. It was voted number one attraction, Christmas attraction in Ohio. I think, I saw somewhere, so that's cool. Yeah. American truck, okay. Veterans Memorial Bridge. Anyway, we are a few days away from the new year. Already. So, yeah. The Nutcracker is also an effective self-defense technique. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Spin Viking, hello, how are you? Vendetta Online, Rocket League, yeah, Rocket League is pretty popular. I don't think I've tried Vendetta Online, yeah. I place, on Linux I play, what do I play? Super Tux Kart? Yeah, Super Tux Kart's pretty cool. I like it. It's simple. Yep. The Linux phone. Of course, you know, Ubuntu dropped their plans for the phone. They tried. No more. Alright, so that's the look on the local Nutcracker Village. Batteries in general for portable devices have not changed in 25 years. Devices have, but yeah, it's, um, it's not good. That's right. You get into a bar fight anywhere, it'll mess with... Can, can you imagine, say you have a new phone that's set only f to unlock with your face. You get into a fight, by accident, on purpose, you're drunk. <laughs> if you gotta use your phone for an emergency, and your phone's like, but you're like, I swear! You know, your lips like this, you got an eye out there, I swear, it's me! God damn it, call for 911! <laughs> Yeah, I don't like facial recognition. I'd rather have a, a pattern, passcode, or a number you can type. Instead of, I swear, with me, unlock the phone. Uh, 
Ah, free keys for Vendetta Online. Okay. Let's see if... Um, what's on News Lab real quick? Everything catch. Yeah, Sneaky, you use OpenShot, I think. I've never had good luck with OpenShot. I use either Kden Live or Shotcut. I've had pretty good luck. Let's um, let's take a look at this. Uh, great apps to convert audio and video files. Going to the best calibration for your phone battery is to replace it, if you can. All batteries need to replace. Yes, that's true. Um, but what I'm saying, Rose, is that the, the general the the technology is, is hasn't changed. Um, I have I have my HEC One Max. It's not here. I think it's upstairs with a bigger battery. Uh, yeah, you can buy phones with larger batteries, but the technology is the same. Fingerprint uh, scanner. Yeah, my phone has that. I, I never used that. Yeah. KDE tutorials for Sneaky Linux. I don't know, Sneaky, do you like KDE? Let's see what apps. Handbrake I use. Handbrake is pretty good. To use OpenShot, go for the... You know what, Sneaky? I just, in general, from the start, I've just... KDE Live has always worked better for me, period. And Shotcut, which is multi-platform, is terrific. It's a good backup. So I generally stick with what works. You know, I've gotten so used to with Caden Live, uh, it's almost second nature to me. So, I use what's comfortable. Yeah. Okay. Handbrake is pretty good. I, th I think it's for Windows also, I think. Um, Freemake, I think I've heard of that. Format Factory, is that for Linux? Wondershare Video Converter, I've used that in Windows, it's pretty good. I thought they would have more to list, let's see here. Curlew I've used to convert video files to audio, yes, I've used that. Somebody matches uh, FM MPEG. <laughs> yeah, some of these are only Windows, okay. Uh, Flowblade, yeah, Flowblade looks interesting, Sneaky, yeah. It does. Uh, Sebayon. I haven't tested that. I think that's Italian. Distro. Sebayon. So, anyway, where were we here? Yeah, I don't know why they're putting Windows-only converters on Noob's Lab for Linux. Uh, I mean, these are fine. Format Factory for Windows. Wondershare Video Converter is perfectly fine. I'm not sure on a Linux website, but hey, what do I know? Let's take a look at some articles. Where Linux came from? It came from Linus Torvalds. Part of it. The Road to Linux Gaming. Uh, top three best Linux laptops for 2017. Uh, let's see here. Reasons why Linux is superior than any other OS. Do I want to click that? Why Linux is more secure. Uh, that may be true, except when you go on the web, does it really matter? Can Ubuntu Touch compete with Android and iOS? Yes, with the right product. PTV, I don't know, Sneaky, do you try uh, PTV? I tried that in the past and not work for me either. All right, Pizza, I'll check my email tomorrow. Switch, you were having a hard time finding something that Congress would not do for love. Hmm. I gotta think about that one. Yeah. A max 17 Linux Lite are, are good. That would be a... Those, those would be on my top 10 list. Yeah. 
Um, Linux is a result of a decent amount of coffee and Linus Torvalds being bored. Yeah, he first thought it wasn't that big of a deal back in 90, um, 1, 92. History being made and he had no clue, at least not in the beginning. A Mac Ubuntu available. I don't know. Lightworks I've also heard of. It is a pay one only. Okay. Yeah, Caden Live. You know, it's you know, considering it's it's you know it's free and they work on you know volunteers and donations and sponsor, it's pretty good. It's not up there with you know with Adobe or Sony uh, versions of a video editor or whatever in, in Mac, but you know what, Sneaky K the Live for the most part isn't bad. And shot shotcut keeps getting better and better. Somebody asked me, can you do text and shotcut? Sure you can. So there are some choices. Are they truly professional alternatives? Probably not. Um, I can't afford a Mac computer right now, but if, if I could, I would have bought one just to see if multimedia is better in a Mac. I don't know. And let's see here. Shadow 7. The pet pack from the Kli effects VX2. Okay, all right, yes, you can certainly do that. Let's go to six Linux myths. What time is 11.04? Okay. This is from Noob's Lab. Only for experts. Is that a myth about Linux? Well, some of it is. Arch, Gen 2. Yeah, some of it is, so that's partially true. Shane Milton, hello. Uh, you need it, you're using the pro version, licensed version of Lightworks, you need to read Red Raw files. How's it, so is the paid version, the pro version of Lightworks worth it? I'm assuming it is, Shane, I don't use Lightworks. Um, Collins predicts there will soon be an MS, MS Linux Offered MS, MS, Microsoft Linux. Okay, so this is the six myths. So is it only for experts? Some Linux is. It's not a whole myth. Immune to viruses. No, Linux is not immune to viruses. That is true. Against the law. Oh, well, no, it's, you can download it for free. Lacking customer service. There is paid service for Linux. Unstable and reliable. Some Linux is. That is true. Partially true. Expensive to run? Not really. No. This is partially true with these myths. Yeah. Okay. So the MS Linux. Um, that's Joe's prediction. An MS Linux um, for 2018. Off the top of my head, I would say probably not. I don't know, Sneaky, what do you think? An MS Linux for 2018? Uh, let's see here. Advantages of using Linux over Windows. Let's take a look. I guess I could turn off my ticker. Check out ticker, that's T-I-C-K-R for both Linux and Windows. Non-existent costs. Uh, well, there is some cost for Linux sometimes. Full customization in Linux, that is true. That is true. Well, except if you're using GNOME. Then you can't because most of the uh, uh, extensions don't work. Diverse distributions, yes, a lot of, lot of choices. Security, true, just stay off the web. Hardware requirements, yeah, there are some light distros out there that are great, LXLE is great. So I would have to agree with most of that article.
Uh, let's see. Yeah, if MS made a Linux, it'll be locked down probably. And if it's Linux based and if it's locked down, then why have that version of Linux? If it's locked down, why choose it? Out of curiosity, maybe? I don't know. Let's see if there's something here to look at. How to make your Linux desktop more efficient and user friendly, okay? Keyboard shortcuts, the pager, use drawers, mm. package manager. I like Synaptic. It's one of the great ones out there as a package manager. Yeah, absolutely. Synapse, okay. This is a cool website, Noobs Lab. You like XFC? Well, they're both fairly lightweight, so why not? Yes, Mint is good for custom. There aren't too many, except for the new GNOME by Ubuntu. It's hard to customize, but for the most part, yeah. Let's check out OMG Ubuntu. I thought Linux condition of using Linux is to make it open. I would have to agree. All right, so we talked about Spotify as a Snap app. It works. It's pretty good. We talked about, yes, about Ubuntu more popular than Britney Spears. GIMP is a great image editor. Let's take a look at Ubuntu. 12 months, 12 images. All right, Lamer, have a good one. Dell revealed it sold tens of millions of dollars worth of Ubuntu laptops. I would say that's pretty good. Yeah. Ubuntu became more accessible in July as the Windows subsystem for Linux. Gnome, sweet gnome. I guess Mark Shuttleworth, the Ardvark, renewed Ubuntu. Dell announced Ubuntu powered laptops. Where next? It's all about the images. Solus 3. Any suggestions on Decent GT guy. I don't mess a lot with themes. Cody. Yeah, like with Ubuntu, I use the stock theme. Um, if I do check out themes, Noob's Lab has a good selection. Uh, start there. But I don't really mess a lot with themes that much. Once my system works the way I want it, I'm scared. Of, if I do anything extra, I may screw it up. But uh, that being said, check out Noob's Lab for themes. They usually have a lot of choices. The GIMP. Stop.
Stay, sir, a system cleaner. I've used that. That works pretty good, actually, yeah. And the talk about flat packs. Maybe that's the future for Linux. Flat packs and snaps. App images. I don't know. Still cannot get out of Unity, yeah. I'm gonna miss it. I got used to it after six years. What's the other one? OMG Chrome. I can tell you a prediction last uh, for next year. It still will not be the year of the Linux desktop. I haven't seen anything to indicate. I mean, besides Chromebooks, of course, which are fine. Yeah. Kagan, you got you got three boys to go to bed. Woo. Okay, Kagan. Thank you for stopping by. I'll catch you on the next one, Kagan. Have a good one. Yeah, Kagan, okay, just uh, make sure you have the the little notification bell turned on for the channel for the next one. I may do I might do one tomorrow and Sunday. Like I said, the weather's going to be crappy, so I won't be doing a lot of driving. Um, so check back. Yeah, app image. I downloaded the app image for Caden Live. It seems to work. Is it better than the other ones? I really have no clue. I haven't tested enough to really tell you. Um, so yeah. Okay, so that's OMG Chrome. If you like listening to podcasts besides my own, check out the Ubuntu podcast. A lot of orange chairs. And they share some of their predictions. App image because they work on all Linux distros. Do they work on all of them? I don't know. They can, but they don't think they can be updated well. I'm not sure about that one either. Um, yeah. Joe says MS is slowly but surely losing market share. Um, spin, I don't know about that. I mean, I, I, I suppose technically yes, but what's the, what's realistically, what is going to replace Windows? Think about that for a second. There's really nothing out there. If we could say a Linux desktop can, I agree. Which one? And which company is going to respend the resources to test it, promote it, sell it? I don't think it's going to lose that much. I just don't see it. You know, if I ever get a bug in Linux that it crashes, uh, I'm, I'm going to go back to Windows. Um, if I had a Mac, I would go back to Mac. Yeah. I don't know. That's how I see it. So, yeah, as far as the Microsoft prediction, I don't know, maybe a little bit, but not that much to say, ooh, look at that. And Arita, I was uploading the uh, when when, that, when I had the Patreon uh, account, I was uploading uh, some exclusive podcasts to that, like Linux newbies and some other ones. But um, when Patreon decided to overcharge patrons, as it were, I deleted the account probably too soon because Patreon realized they made a mistake and are not going to do what they wanted to do. So I don't, um, yeah, I don't. Um, I'm going to have to fix that somehow, some way right now. Uh, but sometimes with these live events, I'll transcode these into an audio form um, and then have a link below in the show notes. But uh, normally they were on the Patreon page. So, yeah. But I'll keep you guys posted. Thanks for asking. Yes, Rose, Supercomputers Enterprise, yes, they use Linux. 
Hello, Joe. Welcome. Yeah, I don't see I'm at Microsoft going anywhere. Now, if, if Google or a big company with resources wanted to mass market a Linux desktop, go for it. But just pick the one, whatever they think is best, whatever, and make sure it works out of the box, period. And it's got a shot. Until then, Microsoft is not going anywhere. There's really only two to choose from when you go to a store. Microsoft or MacBook and Mac computers. That's, that's, that's it. Um, yeah, Mac 16, I, I have to test that one. So yeah, Anarvidi, I'll let you know. I'll let you know what, what I'm gonna do um, as far as podcasts. Sometimes I'll upload stuff to the archive.org. I set up a new account on the archive org which is free as um, under a different name um, tech America today or tat tat uh, I was thinking about starting a second channel on YouTube focusing more non Linux stuff nothing wrong with Linux um, but um, if I do have a podcast I'll let you know they will always be free downloads of course if you want to donate a dollar or something that would be great uh, but I'll probably for now archive them on archive.org and just you know post a link so and because to post them on archive it, it's it's no cost to me so I don't charge anybody anything rug monkey rug monkey hello rug monkey how are you windows is moving towards a subscription model maybe And you had trouble with MX Linux? Okay. So the choice is spyware, malware, or a key logger. The choice is do you want an operating system that's a king of bugs, Linux, or one that's the king of malware, Windows? What's Mac of? The king of. I don't know. Those are the choices. You're welcome, Anna. Yeah, like I said, if I post the podcast for now, uh, it'll be uploaded on archive. It'll be a link. So, you know. Redox OS for the future based on Rust. Don't try it. It's not. Yeah, I, um, I probably will not try to mass market an OS based on Rust. I'm just saying. Tech Bismo is in the house. This is a comment. I guess it is, Tech Bismo. I've heard good things about Peppermint, sure. Yeah. ZBD uses Peppermint. Oh, don't even get you. Man, I don't know what's it with you and Linux. Just go back to Windows, man. And um, I didn't say that MX17 is the whole world of the Linux desktop. Uh, historically, Joe, is, is bugs. Yeah, just search the web. You know, I'm not saying Windows cannot have bugs. Sure it can. But Windows is pretty much the king of malware. And Linux in general is the king of bugs. Most Linux bugs are salvageable. Okay. Fair enough. Apple Mac the king of dead battery spin? Really? I don't know, man. I got my iPad mini. You know, I don't have any issues with batteries. And this was a refurbished one. It works pretty good for me. Yeah. I don't know. When you're downloading a Linux file, ISO... Make sure that the download is not corrupt to check the MD5. You know, uh, I'm, I have a feeling a lot of people don't check to make sure that the download is not corrupted. I mean, usually it's not, but yeah, if, if I download 10 ISOs, one of them is probably going to be corrupted and I will not install it. You know, period. So make sure, I mean, Linux Smith has made a, a big deal out of this. 
Um, yeah, check the MD5. Sub Zero. Hello. Yeah, it would be nice to see a, besides Chromebooks, to see a company selling its computers at Best Buy. I totally agree. Well, Debian, right, if you go with the unstable, I guess that would be more bleeding edge. Yeah. I will say this, because I'm having good luck with Linux, I don't use Windows 10 as much as I thought I would. Um, yeah, I'm using more Linux, over 50% Linux now than I am in Windows. So Linux is getting better. I wanted to see something here. Yeah, don't forget to verify your ISO. So if you go to Linux Mint page, um, the shots for 256 sums, yes. You have to check this. You know, and each, each distro will have its own. Uh, yeah, these are all the codes here. Make sure whatever it is been that you download, make sure you check that the download is not corrupted. If you're not doing this, that may be part of the problem. I mean, I don't know. Um, Best Buy doesn't sell anything any, any anyone wants. Everything has to be ordered. Everything? Corora Mate. I haven't heard of that one. Windows ME. Okay, that's going back a few years. So, verifying ISO images. I don't distro hop as much as I used to. I, um, web browser hop. Less time involved, I guess. Okay, so Ubuntu Mate, there's a serious issue, 17.10, and it's fl and it's flavors like Ubuntu Mate that affects certain Lenovo lap. If you have a Lenovo laptop, choose 16.4.3 LTS. Okay, well, there you go. My laptops, Lenovo, my ThinkPads, I don't have any issue. Of course, mine are the older ones. So, so this was uh, evidently very serious. Yeah, here's a check sum here again. You need to check this to make sure that the download, how to verify downloads, um, why verify downloads. Yeah. While in most cases downloads are free from corruption and tampering, most cases you may wish you have to, not you may, you have to verify your download. And it gives an example here. And you can do this freely for free in both Windows and Linux. So this is what I do all the time. I check it if it's corrupted, I will not install it, period. And don't have issues. Now, there may still, you might still have bugs in it, certainly. Um, but yeah, it's it shouldn't be a constant issue. Um, so I don't know, man, yeah. Oh, the latest Ubuntu feels bloated, yeah. Yeah. Yep. 
If there's a lot of bugs right after install, I'm not sure if they will all be corrected. I don't know. Maybe. Hmm. On every single distro ban, there's a problem? That is odd. Very much so, yeah. There's a tip, try a distribution you haven't used before. Ah, here we go. Verify your backups are working. There we go. There are now only 20 years until 2038, the Unix-Linux clock apocalypse. I guess talk about a major bug in the clock. The clock apocalypse. have I heard of that before? Oh, okay, I guess there is a major, all right, all right. I'm going to make Joe happy and talk about Windows 10 security. Oh, you like that song, Fat Elvis? Maybe you'll sleep better tonight? You want to know what it is? Uh, silent par partner dog and pony show. Duh. YouTube Audio Library, it's great, it's awesome. Perfectly free to download, it's safe. I like this song. Heated seats, they come in handy in the wintertime. My car doesn't have heated seats, but my son does. Tech Bismel, you're a 12 year old, you use Linux, very good, cool. Okay Rose, have a good one. Yeah, we'll probably wrap this up about midnight and go to bed. PCs vulnerable, let me go to reader mode, too much going on here. PCs to hack after shock security risk. Ooh. Uh, let's see. Microsoft's flagship operating system can be hacked into via the Windows Hello facial authentication system, which I don't use. Hmm. Windows Hello users unlock their device simply with their face or a fingerprint. I, I don't use that. I guess I'm safe. They defeat the face scanning f with a printed picture. That's pretty clever. So there you go. Yeah, I don't have a problem with that. I guess that was pretty serious though, huh?
Thanks, Microsoft, but I'm still saying no to Windows 10. Fair enough. By the way, the last chance to upgrade to Windows 10 is December 31st. Let's upgrade for free. Chrome 63 versus Windows 10 Edge. I use Chrome usually. Yeah, Germany's switching back to Windows 10. No more Linux. Okay, enough of that. Let's see what the best games were for 2017. Wolfenstein 2. What remains of Edith Finch? Don't know that one. Cuphead. Pyre. I've heard of Forza. Super Mario. Horizon Zero Down. I wonder what's number one. Nier Automata. Good night. Okay. Windows as secure as a curtain as your in your front door. Good one, Joe. <laughs> uh, Divinity Original Sin 2. Okay. You made me laugh. Thanks. Okay. What is the number one game? Anybody want to guess before I scroll down? <laughs> Switch. You use Peppermint. Cool. Yeah, Peppermint's pretty fast. Simple. Do you play games in Linux at all, Switch? Number one game, anybody take a guess, because I don't have a clue. You really like that Corora Mate, huh? Okay, Joe, yeah. Peppermint is designed by developers, uh, team members, former team members of Linux Smith, I think. I think. Number one game is The Legend of Zelda. Well, there you go. Breath of the Wild. Assassin's Creed Origins, Destiny 2. I didn't like it. It was like a ripoff of Halo almost, so yeah. Uh, speaking of Halo. What's the word with Halo 6? I like my Halo games. The Legend of Zelda. I don't think it's a shooting game, is it? I don't know. That was number one. Um, uh, let's see. Let's see. Uh, so it's going to be a while. Mm. Come on, it's been two years since Halo 5. Sheesh. Alright, 
If I remember, I will check it out. Tech Bismo. Yeah, Halo 5 had a really cool ending. A twist. As far as games go, that was pretty cool. Yeah, I will have to admit. And they should have made a Halo movie years ago. I think they missed that one. Let's run a topic mainly of Linux. Let's type in what what is the future? Uh, let's see of the Linux desktop. Since this year is almost over, if there's anything recent. So Best Buy is that bad now? I haven't walked into one in a while, admittedly, but I mean, well, what are you guys looking for that you can't find in a Best Buy? That's a little bit surprising. I mean, they have the Amazon, the Echo, the Home Assistants, they got cameras, computers, phones, right? I don't know. Yeah, Joe, it's pretty cold. It's 18 degrees here, man. Yeah. It is pretty cold. Let's see this article real quick. Ah, they predict Linux desktop hits 5% market share. I don't think so. Um, not without a major desktop for sale at a Best Buy or something like that. KD Desktop enjoys a significant spike in popularity. Maybe. Uh, the mobile market. Samsung and Dex. I don't know. Negative 22. Ooh, that's cold. Web browser. They predict Firefox will reclaim the most used browser. Well, Firefox caught him is pretty fast. The future looks bright. Well, in Linux in general, it's always been bright. It's just on the desktop, it lags. So... Yeah, this is Samsung's um, Linux on Galaxy. Enables developers to use Samsung smartphones for the community needs. Even app Linux on Galaxy allows the latest Samsung Galaxy smartphone to run their preferred Linux distribution. Cool. If you guys are interested, Linux on Galaxy. So the project has not gone public yet. Okay. I'll check out one more thing here. A company that's almost faded away is HTC. Best Buy doesn't stock a desktop tower. Really? I am surprised. Huh. Okay. It's not a desktops that rare anymore. I don't know. 
New Egg. Yeah, I've shopped at New Egg, and there's another one. Um, I can't think of it now. New Egg, and I can't think of it now. British Columbia or Canada. Yeah, that's gonna be cold. You can expect for your phones from HTC in 2018 and beyond. I don't know what happened to HTC, man. They used to be awesome. Piece of history, the HTC Evo 3D. Their last cool, really cool phone about seven years ago. Anyway. Well, I bought, um, sometimes I'll search for refurbished computers. Yeah. Fries, okay. Good for computers. Hello, Netra, welcome. Let me type in desktop computers obsolete. Not much here about that. Well, desktop computers will become obsolete. Part one. Article from January. PCs and laptops becoming obsolete? I don't think so. Windows 10 will make old computers obsolete. Not with Linux. Shut down my iPad. I'm going to go to bed soon myself. Okay. Have a good night, Anarita. Keep the missus happy. I'm going to go to bed soon. I don't know why I give an HTC a plug. <sighs> Buenas noches. Si. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this up, I think, in five minutes. So just to let you know. The best internet browser software for 2018. The gold award goes to Firefox. Imagine that. Chrome number two. I don't need notifications, no, thank you. Safari, Opera, Internet Explorer number five. Maxton C. Monkey. Hmm. Avant Browser. Interesting. C. Monkey, I guess the C. Monkey still being developed, huh? Sea Monkey Project. This is part of Mozilla, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Some screenshots. Okay. Windows XP. I'm Brandon Mozilla. I guess. 
Yeah, some Linux distros, I think, still have this as a default web browser. I think it's in, uh... What did I test that had it? LXLE? Maybe I can't remember. Take care, sure to have a great 2018. Yes. That says telemetry in the bow config. Okay, all right. Laptop Mountain sells Linux laptop. Laptop Mountain? Check it out. Affordable used laptops for sale. Okay. Linux. Cute girl. Uh, let's see. Linux. Linux. HP. Right, so these are like older machines. Core 2 Duos. 2 gigs of RAM. Wow. Okay. Well, I guess the prices are reasonable for older machines. Yeah, but these are really old. 8 gigabyte, 80 gigabyte hard drives. Yeah. 1 gigabyte RAM. Well, that's cool. At least you have a choice. Top Mountain. Very good. Where are they from? I'm assuming in a mountainous region, right? No gaming switch? Okay. I do some. Dells and HPs, it looks like, huh? Now there's Lenovo. Never had good luck with Deepin. Nope. Okay. All right, give it a couple more minutes, guys, and I'm done. Call it a night, see how much snow there is outside. When's the next mint cast going to be released? Uh, oh, January 7th, okay. Got uh, late night Linux has a new one out. Episode twenty-seven. Okay. Uh, let's see. It's been a year of late night. Okay, so it looks like they wrap up the year for Linux on late night Linux. Yeah, we might get up to four inches of snow total. So shovel my driveway in the morning. Oh joy. is a bi-weekly late-night Linux. So this has Oike, the developer of Solus. 
Okay. Expect drinking, swearing, strong opinions, and Ike being told to shut up about Solus. Very good. Okay, another minute, guys, and I'm done. That's it for for this evening. So, yeah, it's a couple days and um, until the new year. Joe Panico is in the house. What's up, Joe? Joe, you're coming in late. I'm just about to shut this down. I've been on for about, I don't know, a couple hours. So, hello, Joe. How are you? Are you going to order your Steve Jobs jeans? You got a desktop machine with 512 drive, Intel Core Duo, 3 gigahertz, screw me, for less than 100 bucks. Okay. Joe, you start because I won't be at sorting lines of snow. But there's that old classic song, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Just a joke. Linux Unplugged, yeah. Destination Linux, sure. Yeah, all good choices for Linux. Still nothing for Linux newbies. Like I said, I had about three or four Linux newbies podcasts posted on the Patreon page. I thought they were good, but oh well. Maybe I'll go back and revisit that for Linux newbies. But you'd be surprised. I'm surprised there isn't a constant weekly one for newbies. I mean, um... Watching Vikings. Ah, okay. Yeah, well, January 3rd, X-Files comes back. Yeah, yeah. You like that one, Joe? Yeah, why Christmas? Um, Puff the Magic Dragon. Well, what, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, the X-Files comes back January 3rd, Joe. I can't wait. Scully and Mulder. Yeah. Jobs jeans would not fit you. Well, we don't know what sizes they come in. Maybe they're bloated with software, apps. Uh, they have lower end stuff at best by very few SKU. I never find hard drives, access points, or other things. Oh, okay. Hmm. Can't say I shop there for hard drives. The last hard drive I bought was for a friend of mine was fixing his laptop. I think we went to, where did we go? Office Max. Yeah. Okay, Fat Elvis, you're going to get out of here. Take care. Yeah, I don't search for those kinds of stuff at Best Buy. I've been shopping with my cousin for TVs mainly. Um, OLED TVs. He finally bought one. I think he bought it on Amazon and it looks terrific. Too bad there isn't a lot of 4K stuff on Comcast, if any. Yeah. I mean, it looks great in the store with the 4K content. Um, and the prices have come down for 4K TVs. Um, well, Joe, no, the, the, the jeans will be made by Italians. So maybe they will not be as expensive as Apple. I'm just guessing. I don't know. I don't know. It just makes me laugh. Steve Jobs jeans. Hmm. Best Buy, Worst Buy. They, they remodeled some of their stores. So they actually look pretty nice. Well, I'm going to have to check, check Best Buy after the remodel. Just to see what, see what it looks like. You know, but the last time I was in, they seemed to have a lot of stuff in there. You know. Wine and Linux has never worked for me. So, yeah. If I have to p use a Windows app, I'll just log into Windows. Boot into Windows. It's that simple. Mark them up. They have pepperoni pockets. Yes, they do. <laughs> I'm curious.
curious to see how far they can go with that trademark Steve Jobs jeans. I don't know. Yeah. It would be cool though if the jeans had built in, not a phone, maybe that's going too far. Maybe if the jeans had um, built in Bluetooth speakers. There we go. Yeah. Italians make the best suits. Yeah, they make, um, uh, what's that one's famous expensive suit? Oh, can't think of the name. Brioni. Yeah, that's the one. It took you 90 minutes to buy a $45 SSD. Were they busy? That's a long time for a small purchase. Yeah, if you're going to play Windows games or anything in Windows, just use Windows, Ben. That's what I do. I mean, I use Windows less nowadays, but if I have to use Windows, like to sync my iPad or something like that, just use Windows, man. Let's keep it simple. You know, I don't want to spend hours trying to solve a puzzle that may not be solvable. So Best Buy has changed evidently, huh? Well, we had Circuit City years ago, but Armani? Uh, I believe Brioni's are more expensive. Uh, let's make this the last topic for the evening. Brioni. I think it's what it's called. Yeah. Jeremiah is in the house. Uh, yeah, a Brioni. Yeah, this is good stuff. I think the James Bond actors wear Brioni, as far as I know. Uh, let's see if they even list the prices. Ah, they do. A Brioni suit is at least $6,000. And as much as $17,000. Well, there you go. They do make good stuff, Joe. I remember the Wiz. Yeah, years ago. Yeah. The Wiz. <laughs> A bit like Denny's. 90 minutes to get water. Oh, man. <laughs> Turn off the music here. <laughs> Jeez. Anyway. Brioni suits, are they worth it? I guess. Founded in 1945. Guess it would be nice to have a nice suit. I don't know. Out of your league. Okay. Anyway. All right, guys. Any last words? News items before we shut this down because I am ready for Betty Bye. Versace. Yeah, Joe. Versace's good. Um fairly expensive but I think Brioni is probably the top of the list when it comes to you know cost and quality as far as I know I mean there's a reason why the James Bond movie producers only pick or pick Brioni for the actor um, that's my guess Joe yeah Crazy Eddie. I don't think I know that one, Joe. Yeah, Crazy Eddie. Um, yeah, that one I don't know, Crazy Eddie. Hmm. Yep, good night, Spin. Jeremiah, good night. Like I said, I'll probably do something this weekend. Maybe predictions for next year. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I think you're right there. Yeah. 
Yeah, I think uh, I recall a couple of the last Bond flicks, Suits, Clothing by Brioni or something like that in the credits, as far as I know. So, yeah. I know that uh, Pierce Brosnan's, the actor, uh, he wore Brioni suits, custom tailored, of course, you know, for the movie. Um, I think the watch also. Um, What's that famous watch? I can't think of it now. For the movie. Um, yeah, good night, Ben. Anyway. Okay, it is after midnight. I am done, so I'm going to wrap this up now. Have a good night, guys. Um, so, yeah, I'll probably do something this weekend. Make sure that the notification bell thinky that you have, click that on so you get a notification when I post something or ready to post something. But I'm going to wrap this up now. I'm going to check the, um, look out the window real quick, see what it looks like. But I'll probably have to shovel some snow in the morning. guess that'll be my exercise for tomorrow. Yes, Rolex, that's the one. I think he wears Bond, wears Rolex also. And I think in one of the movies he was using a cordless Norelco shaver years ago. I think I recall that one. So, Brioni, Rolex, and Norelco. I prefer brawn shavers. They seem to work better for my beard. I actually need to test something new. I might, I might try the um, Gillette five blade sensor shaver blade or something. Okay. All right, Joe, uh, both Joes, Panico, Johnson, Netra, everybody, Ben, everybody who joined in tonight and all some of the new people in the chat, welcome. As always, you're always welcome. Uh, that person from Belarus of all places, cool. All right, so yeah, maybe I'll catch you this weekend and um, if there's any late breaking news, I'll let you know. But that's it for this evening. So guys, um, have a good night. Take care.